welcome back to my channel and in today's video I have another crochet top project to show you guys and I hope you guys enjoy so for this project you need a yarn I'm using this one by Pathens and it's 100% cotton it's 100 grams and the color is 2723 you also need a pair of scissors and you also need a hook, I'm using this one which is a 1.6 milliliters and I'm also using a fabric glue you can also use super glue as I showed you guys on my previous videos so as you guys can see I've already completed one of my cups and I'll show you guys in this video the other one so as you guys can see in the middle here is just a normal double crochet cup and when we go outwards we can see that we have some really cute designs we have like a square design around and also another double crochet a square and also a shell design around the cup okay as you guys can see at the bottom here I've created little squares so that we can put the straps through them and then we will have a movable bikini top and we can just adjust to our body type. Before starting with the tutorial, I just want to say that this bikini top here will be a size small, which is my size. But just remember that you can adjust all the stitches, all the chains to yourself. Or maybe you can just follow a bikini top that you already have and that you really like and you can just follow the size for your bikini top. So yeah, that's everything I have to say and let's get started with the tutorial. So first we begin with a slip knot and now you just chain one and you pull very tight so that we have a good base for us to begin the chain. So now you can chain 13 and then you hold that last stitch in place and then you chain 3. Now on that stitch that you're holding, you will create your first double crochet. Now you can continue creating double crochets on every stitch until you get your last stitch. So once you've done that, you want to create two double crochets on that same stitch. You've created one double crochet already on that. So you want to create two more double crochets on that same stitch. So we will have three double crochets on one stitch. So now you will chain one and then on that same stitch again you will create three double crochets. So in this last stitch here we will have three double crochets chain of one and three double crochets on the same stitch okay so this will be the top of our bikini top and this will be the bottom so now we can just continue creating double crochets until we get to the last stitch so here I just want to show you guys that every time you get to the bottom of your cup you want to make sure that you get that very last stitch which is this one here so that your bikini bottom will be straight at the bottom and not curved okay so just make sure you do a double crochet on that very last stitch so here we have the first row completed and now we're just going to be doing the second row so for the second row you want to create a chain of three and then you want to turn and on that very first stitch you want to create your first double crochet and by doing the double crochet on that very first stitch you will also make your bikini straight at the bottom and not curved so now we can just continue doing double crochet on every stitch until we get to the top here so when you get to this stitch here, right at the top of your cup, on that you want to create two double crochets, chain one, and then two more double crochets on that same stitch. So 
And now we can just continue with the double crochets until we get to the very, very last stitch. Just remember that you need to do a double crochet on the very, very last stitch. So I'm now on my last stitch. So here we have the two rows completed. So for the third row, you want again to chain three, turn, and then remember on that very first stitch, you want to create your first double crochet. And then you want to continue doing double crochets and when you get to the top of a bikini cup you just want to create again two double crochets you want to chain one and create two double crochets on the same stitch and now you want to continue doing double crochets until you get to your very last stitch so I'm here on the very last stitch, just want to create double crochet. So now I have three rows completed, I'm doing six rows for the first part of the bikini cup. So just to show you guys that first I'm just going to be doing this part of the bikini cup here and then I'll come back to show you guys how you can do the design, okay? So now I've completed all the six rows for the first part and for the second part we're going to be creating this square design here. So to create this square design you will create a chain of four and then you will turn and then you will skip a stitch and then you will create a double crochet on the next stitch. Okay, so the first square is completed, as you can see. So now you can just chain one and then skip a stitch and then create a double crochet on the next stitch. So chain one, skip a stitch, double crochet on the next. And then you want to continue doing the same process until you get to the top here. So when you get to the top, you just chain one and then right in the middle of those four double crochets at the top you just create one double crochet and then you chain two and then you create another double crochet in the same stitch so that you still have the square design at the top as well okay so now you just continue so you chain one and then you just skip a stitch, then double crochet on the next and then you just continue doing until you get to the very last stitch so I'm here on my last stitch so I'm just gonna chain one and then create a double crochet on the very last stitch so now I'm completed with the first row with the design and now I'm just gonna be doing this row here with only double crochets Okay, so to do the row with only double crochets, you want to chain three and then you want to turn and then on that very first stitch, you want to create your first double crochet and then inside of that square, you will create a double crochet and then at the top of the double crochet, you want to create another double crochet and then at the top of the square and then at the top of the double crochet so now you can continue doing the double crochets until you get to the top of your bikini cup so now I'm here right at the top of my bikini cup and you just want to create that same shell that we've created on this part of the bikini cup so you just create a double crochet and then another one in the same stitch and then chain one and two more double crochets on that same stitch and now you just want to continue doing double crochets on every stitch until you get to the very last stitch here okay 
So now we're going to be creating the second row with the squares. So you're just going to be chaining four and then you skip a stitch and on the next you do a double crochet and then you chain one and then skip a stitch and on the next you create a double crochet and then you continue doing that until you get to the top of your cup so for the top of your cup you want to chain one and then create a double crochet in the middle of those four double crochets and then you want to chain two and then create another double crochet on the same stitch and now you just want to continue with the pattern until you get to the very last stitch okay so I'm here on my last stitch okay so we just need to do one more row and then we complete it so now we're doing the shell row which is this one so to do that one you just want to turn so first you want a single crochet on the very first stitch and then you want to create another single crochet at the top of the square and now on the next square you just want to create a double crochet and then another one so there will be two double crochets chain of one and two double crochets in the same square now on the next square you want to create another single crochet so as you guys can see you can already see the little shell here so now on the next square you just want to create another two double crochets here we go and then chain one and then another two double crochets and then on the next square you want to create a single crochet so now you can just repeat the process until you get to the top of your cup right here so now I got to the top here and what you're gonna do is you want to create your single crochet and then right at the top of your cup you want to create again two double crochets chain one and two double crochets and now at the top of the other double crochet you want to create your single crochet and then you want to again create that double crochet another one chain one and then two double crochets so I've done the top here a little bit different from the sides because I want my strap to come out from the middle of this four double crochets from the little shell here I think it will look better if the strap comes out from here rather than from the middle here you know what I mean but if you want to keep doing the same design all around that's fine you can do that but if you want to do the same as I did it's just up to you okay so now you just continue doing the pattern until you get to the very last stitch which is this one okay and then I'll come back to show you guys how you do the bottom so now for your last square here you just want to create a single crochet at the top of the square and then another single crochet getting one of the stitches from the side so here we go so now we're gonna be working on the bottom so you just create a chain of two and then on the very first stitch you create your first double crochet so that you just have a stronger base here now to create the square you just chain one and then with your hook you just measure one of the stitches like that and then you create a double crochet now you just chain one again and then you just measure with your hook to find a stitch at the bottom here 
because it's a little bit hard to find the stitches so that you can just measure with your hook like that you just pull to the side and then you just find a stitch okay and then you just do a double crochet on that stitch again chain one with your hook you find a stitch and then create a double crochet so now you just want to keep doing that until you've completed with all the bottom of your bikini cup so now I've completed all the bottom of my bikini cup now you can just fasten off by cutting the yarn here pulling through the hook and pull tight so I've already completed the strap for one of my cups as you guys can see and I've done a chain of 150 and also I went back with a slip stitch I'll show you guys in a minute and right at the top here you just want to put your hook through the loop and pull the yarn and you just want to give it a knot just put the hook through the loop again and you need to grab the yarn from the back and bring it forward and then you just start your chain so I'm just gonna be doing a chain of 150 like I did on my other one so I'm just gonna be continue doing the chain off the camera and then I'll come back to show you guys what to do next so now I've completed my chain of 150 so now I'm just going back in my chain with slip stitches so you just get the first stitch and then you put the hook through that stitch and then grab the yarn instead of doing a single crochet so you're just gonna get the yarn that is already in your hook and you just pass through that other loop okay so you just continue doing that so put the hook through the stitch grab the yarn and then the yarn that is in the hook you just pass through the other loop so you're just gonna be continue doing that all the way through your chain okay so I'm doing that off the camera and then I'll show you guys how I do the end here okay so when I get to this point which is the end I just finish doing all the slip stitch through my my chain as you guys can see so right here I just do a single crochet and right on the next stitch I just like to do a slip stitch like that and then I just cut the rest of the yarn and then I just fasten off okay so as you guys can see I've finished with the top straps and now I'm just going to be doing the bottom strap which is the back strap as well so you want to use the same method you've created the top strap which is this one so first you want to create a slip knot so now I'm just going to be creating my chain maybe I'll do a chain of 300 or 200 or maybe 250 depending on how long you want I will do my chain first and then I will measure on myself and then I'll come back to let you know how long was my chain and also what to do next. So now I've completed my chain and I've done a chain of 300. So what you guys want to do now is just go back with the slip stitches. As I showed you guys before. So now I'm just going to be continue doing all the way through my chain okay so as you guys can see I've completed all my strap so now you can just cut the remaining yarn and just fasten off so before putting all your bikini together you just want to cut all the remaining yarn in your bikini and also in the strap which is this one so you just want to cut all the yarn around the bikini and also the straps and things like that and then you want to grab the fabric glue so you just put a little bit at the back of your hand then you can just use the back of your hook so you just want to add a little bit of the fabric glue on that yarn that you just cut it so in here as well so we just cut the remaining yarn 
and then we add just a little bit of the fabric glue to the place where you've cut the yarn so that it just stays in place and not just undo when you're using it so you want to do that all around your bikini and we can also do the ones in the reverse side of your bikini cup so just cut that just cut it and add a little bit of the fabric glue and then I'm just gonna let it dry for about 20 minutes and then I'll be back to put all the bikini together for you guys and then show you guys the completed project okay so the glue is already dry so to put this strap at the bottom of your bikini cup you just need to get the strap of course and then you just need to pass through these little squares that we created at the bottom here put through the squares like that so that it will be easier for you to adjust into your body into your boob as well passing through all the squares you can use a safe spin if you want So once you've done this side, you can just go ahead and do the other one. So we're just going to be doing the same that we did on the other side. So once you've done that, you just need to adjust the back strap so that they are on the same direction so as you guys can see I've completed my bikini top and as you guys may see in the video is not complicated at all we're just using single crochets double crochets and we also created this amazing shell design around the bikini top and it's so easy but you can still make amazing bikini tops and using the same technique that I've used maybe just making only squares around the bikini top or only the shell design around the bikini top you guys can just play around with this bikini top it's so easy and it's also adjustable at the bottom of your boobs so that you can just move around and just play with the bikini and just to fit you perfectly I really hope you guys enjoyed this easy tutorial on this amazing bikini top and if you guys want to watch more of my videos please subscribe to my channel and also leave a big thumbs up and also if you guys want to comment anything below feel free to do so maybe just giving me some ideas and things like that on crochet tutorials if you guys want and I do hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you soon bye